Why should top team leaders place such a focus on emotional intelligence um, in the modern work uh, environment? So what we're finding now by studying these top team leaders is that these skills are critical. Mm. And in fact, there's four pillars that we found in our research that really differentiate successful leaders at that level. The first one is being authentic. If you're not authentic, if you're not believable, nobody's gonna follow you. You're not gonna be successful as a leader. The second one is coaching, being able to provide the training and skills that people need to get the job done. If you're not looking after their needs in that way, again, you're, you're gonna lose people, especially millennials. Yeah. Yeah. The third one is what we call insight, the ability to express a purpose and meaning in the work that's being done. We're finding that the best leaders are really good at expressing the meaning, why we have to get this job done. It's not about making money, but it's about making a better community, making a better world. So you gotta work with me on that. And the final one is innovation. Mm. Because of the amount of disruption going on today in all these organizations, we find the ones that survive the best have leaders who are innovative. They can think out of the box. They come up with new processes, new procedures, new ways of servicing. Um, those qualities are all directly related to emotional intelligence and they lead to success. And if a leader was to find themselves, so with some of the work we do with top teams, we're assessing the individual's emotional intelligence oh. and then we're looking at it from um, both an individual and also from a group perspective. But often we find that sometimes the leaders in those different areas, so say authenticity, mm -hmm. they may not be scoring as strong as um, some of the norm groups that they're being compared against. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give to leaders in, the, uh, in their pursuits and development of um, some of the areas that they may find that they're scoring lower on? So the best way to develop some of these areas is directly through coaching. Okay. It's not really a, a training area, especially when it gets to authenticity. It's really something that you need a one-on-one -on -one with someone to point out and, and give you specific techniques and ways of, of becoming more authentic. There's actually things you can do to gain trust of people to be seen as more authentic with the people that you're close to or that you work with. And I think a good coach is gonna be the way to go in order to develop those skills.